two women and myself. Um, maybe some more women next year, but they're all kind of they're about 25 and so we all meet for practice. Yeah, right, right. yeah, it's been good. So what's that team been like for you? Oh, it's been like everything to me. So <laughs> I, I just started right out of college. Like I don't know if eras are changing, but like I certainly wasn't piquing anyone's interest. And Gag had lunch with me in my hometown and was like, well. I guess we'll take you, <laughs> and we just like, he's just exactly the kind of coach I would ever need, like, he doesn't give you compliments easy, and he knows there's always something next, and like, I don't know, I'm my worst critic, so I just need someone to tell me when to stop and tell me when to get my ass in gear, and <laughs> he does that, I don't know if that's for everyone, but our team's like a family, it's really something special, and I'm sure every team is to them, and I don't know what it's like at other teams, but our team's... I don't know. It just means a lot to be part of Gag's sort of last reign. <laughs> What's, what does this race tell you about USA's coming up? I mean, I don't know how much it tells me. We've got some amazing ladies, I think. It just tells me not to be afraid to be in that pack. I mean, I think it's going to go real fast, and I respect six, seven ladies in the field quite a bit. And I, I think it's going to be one of the best races to watch in nationals. I think it's going to be phenomenal, and a lot of young talent, and it's really exciting. So. Excited to mix it up. Hopefully it's hot, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you just finished law school or just the year? The law school. I just graduated. Yeah, I'm not taking the bar until February. Okay. All my friends are bar prepping right now. But. <laughs> You're not going to be working then until next year? As far as uh, I think I'll work part-time if they'll have me. I might, I have an offer. Yeah, I have an offer at a firm I worked at last summer, and they've been wonderful with my career in running. And I'm hoping to find a way to help them since they're giving me the year to pursue this dream. So it's kind of cool. Like, yeah, they're in Cape Coral. It's kind of sad. My dad's like, I'd be at this one just across the bridge. Now I'm in Florida, but yeah. thankfully there's like way better TV time now. So thank you. How much is it to be able to drive to a race? Or oh, I really love it. I mean, I love going out to like a national meet and like getting in the zone, being with the team. But like, I ate dinner at home. We watched the NCAA's. Like, mm -hmm. slept in my own bed. Drove up with my boyfriend. Like, super easy. We practice in New York sometimes. It's like really just felt nice until I got here and there were so many people. <laughs> Do you think any of those the women in NCAAs have a chance to make the team? Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think about three or, three or four of them have a shot. I mean, you never know what happens in nationals. There's never a lot, like, it's never for sure anything. So I think that they're, you know, really excited about their first national meet. And with that comes, you know, some stress and this and that. But it also can, some magic can come out of that too. So I think they're going to, they are mature young women. They're not going to give us any respect. They're going to be right there. So. <laughs> I mean, when you think, getting old. When, 